Who's there already? <laughs> I destroyed the microphone stand last time I was up here. <laughs> Woo! Three times in a row, I'm part of a trilogy. So, I went to the movies recently and I saw something truly astounding. It floored me. I saw a preview for this movie called Son of God. It's about Jesus. Now, it could, I haven't seen it. It could be a great movie. It could be fine. But I swear to God, there's a line in this trailer that comes up. It cuts to black, and across the screen it reads, The story you haven't heard. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> the story we haven't heard. Aside from the 500 other movies based on this story, you know, aside from all of that totally new, breaking ground, delving into new territory, what possible aspect of this story could there be left to explore? Is this going to be like one of those tell-all books, you know, the secret stories about the apostles? What were Judas and Peter doing behind Jesus' back? <laughs> Was the crucifixion an inside job? The truth awaits you! <laughs> In the new sensation, Son of God. I know what they can do. They ought to do the teenage years. So show Jesus going through puberty. It'd be great. You know, the, the hormones are kicking in, he's flying off the handle, he turns his dad into a mouse with his spooky powers. <laughs> Mary winds up having to beg him to turn him back. It's like Bewitched, it'll be great. <laughs> you know, another thing I do really wonder is, how come other religions don't get as many movies as Christianity does? I mean, how come there's no Zeus movie? Zeus would make a pretty damn cool movie. be lightning and shit flying all over the place. I mean, I do understand why there's no Muhammad movies. <laughs> we don't want to step on any toes, especially if they're going to blow up. Uh, movie where he gets away at the end. <laughs> I want to see, you know, totally straight story, totally normal, same thing you've always heard, but then the very end, a little title card comes up. On the day of his scheduled execution by cross, Jesus Christ escaped his captors and fled into the nearby countryside. He was last seen in the Lower East Side of Manhattan managing a bookstore. <laughs> his current whereabouts are unknown, but he is still registered as a criminal at large by the Italian government. <laughs> I'd pay to see that, so I'm very religious, as you can probably tell. <laughs> yeah, me and G.O.D., we're like that. Now, it didn't work for me, but not for, like, the typical reasons, you know, where I lost faith or I thought it was bullshit, although that's part of it. But the real reason is I'm too neurotic for this. I, I was terrified of God when I believed in him, because it was like this... Let me, let me paint a picture for you here. When I was a child, it was explained to me that somewhere out there... There is this immense, enormous, inconceivable being with more power than anything else anywhere ever. And he's sitting there right now and he watches everything you do. <laughs> and at any moment, at any moment, any given second, he could just decide to erase you. He has the power to do that. He could just go, oh, Thomas Marshall, screw him, <laughs> gone, never existed. Some people find this comforting scares the shit out of me. <laughs> like every half second, I go, God, I did something wrong, didn't I? God, Jesus, no. <laughs> Thunderstorm, holy Christ. Oh. <laughs> anyway, you all have been very wonderful and generous and sexy. I sincerely apologize. <laughs>